Ah oh, yes, welcome back everybody, gotta think again. Everybody thank Level 7 Games in Denver, Colorado for allowing me to open one last mystery box. Thank you, Damien. And uh, this is my last mystery box opening. And um, then all these cards will be sent back to them. And I just wanted to enjoy one last kind of video before we just kind of move on with our lives in this crazy time. Ah, in 2020, everybody. The infamous recession of 2020. Everybody knew a recession was going to come one day, but I guess I don't think anybody expected it to really kind of be like this, you know what I mean? So I hope everyone's being safe out there and kind of uh, staying home, enjoying yourself, getting some crap done you've wanted to get done for a while. And uh, let's dig for some gold inside this box, shall we? Start off here, and we got, oh god, some of these cards. Oh, old school Mercadian Mask Wall. You don't even see walls anyway. Hey, nice little collar there, MM2017 from Dark Ascension. Foil Rare Mine Slaver. Oh my god, I haven't seen that card in ages. Pack one, foil, that's, it seems like that's where all the money is, these foil rares and mythics in the back of these things. Unbelievable, isn't it? Man, that brings back memories. All right, let's see, we got anything hidden in the front here? No, no, all kinds of wacky stuff. Here we go! Old school Onslaught, the Weathered Wayfarer, I remember you. And boom, very nice. Torment of Hellfire, everybody. Probably one of the most expensive rares in Hour of Devastation, and look at this ridiculousness. The Form of the Dragon, Black Bordered 9th Edition Foil Rare. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a stunning card. But see, I don't see that. That's one of those questions that's a gray area. Because 9th Edition was a white bordered set. So the, only the foils were black bordered and they have huge premiums. But do the people who want to build a set and go for that, do they want the originals? Do they care if it's a reprint? Look at this. The Imposter, also known as the best hat in the history of mankind. And we got ourselves the uh, the boom pile. I used to think that was just kind of a funny... I mean, look at that. Flip a coin. If you get the flip, you destroy everything. Cracks me up. And a nice rhetoric for the foil. Uncommon, everybody. Absolute craziness, isn't it? Absolute craziness. Treasure Cruise, very nice. Look at all these M19s, Iconics, Ixalons. We've got all kinds of masters. Here comes the River Boa and the Spy Kit. And look at that, the old school, look at the Rise of the Redeem. Very cool Elf Warrior. I always love these kind of, I always thought that was a cool mechanic. Another Goblin Pile Driver from Origins, all the way back with the Ogre Gate Crasher Foil Common. So yeah, Mystery Product is kind of, uh, it's kind of calming down now. We're kind of leveling out at this point. Uh, oh, I remember that. That was a cool, I used to love that artwork, everybody. And that, and that just, it reminds me of the never-ending story with the statues. Just laying that out there. Uh, anything crazy hidden in the middle here? But yeah, so apparently this set's starting to level off now. There is more of a reprint coming for those uh, WPN Goldfish companies. <laughs> Release the ants. Classic morning tide. Boom! Elish Norm for the first mythic of the box. Oh, and look at this gorgeous, gorgeous Scry Ranger. Wow, that's beautiful. So we got the old Elish Norm coming through for mythic number one, everybody. Very, very nice start. Oh my goodness. Does that bring back memories or does in Soul Artifact bring back memories? Whoa. That is so weird to see Modern Horizons, which is in print in this. It's just it's so weird to see a new card in a reprint. That's just that's just really weird. Charm, uh, Plane Chase, Wargate from the Alara era. Boy, there's something you don't see every day. Old School Commander, Wheel of Fate. Pretty much Wheel of Fortune old school with some suspend delay mechanic. And, of course, the Storm Crow. Tell you what, 9th edition foil again. Old, see that? I just don't know how those old 7th, 8th, 9th edition foils are going to age because they're reprints, but they're still like blackboard. I mean, I, are, does that a, a set collector? Are they going to buy that instead since it's not the original? Ooh, Refuge. Love that artwork, by the way. Hey, Goblin Game! Wow, this is something. This card is one of the most bizarre. Like, take a moment, pause the video, and read that card. Seriously. Isn't that a weird card? Boom! Look at that. Archive from Origins. And a leveler. Wow, what a pack. Okay, mythic number two for the archive. Gorgeous looking foil rare leveler. Absolutely epic. Epic. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about that particular card from Mirrodin. Was it Mirrodin? Or was it Dark Steeler Fifth Dawn? I think it was Mirrodin. Man, what a good pull. I mean, we've been lucky. We've been lucky on these box openings for uh, these mystery boxes they sent us. I mean, all right, Flame Shot, old school uncommon. Tempt with Discovery. Ooh. Proclamation of Rebirth. I think that's, uh, is that Dissension? Or Guild Pack? 
foil rare again. Oh my, we're getting, it's incredible. I've never seen a product where you get so many foil mythics and foil rares. <laughs> Battle bond. And it's just, it's a very strange batch of pools. Oh, oh, the armor. In my opinion, this was one of the best common cards of Weatherlight. I used to play this card so much when I was little teeny Rudy and I was just an amateur not grown up, which was like yesterday morning. I love that card. Netters, eh, that's, a, oh, hey, look at this. Old school Zendikar Worldwake area, Amulet of Vigor, another foil rare. So I think we're getting more foil rares than we are actually non-rares and mythics. Feels like everything's a foil rare or foil mythic. It's kind of kind of crazy odds, huh? All right, here we go. Emissary, one of the best BFZ uncommons. Fountain. And look at this. Font of Mythos. Anybody remember this from Conflux? I remember that. And we got Commander from the old Klenneltoth for the mythic there. And, of course, a normal, just blah, uncommon captain. I'm trying to remember what set that was. That was not Conflux. I can't even remember the name of that. Was that Dark Ascension or something? Oh, it's been so many years. Sometimes some of these set symbols start to kind of just blend together and you don't even remember what's what. All right, here we go. And go on. Oh, my. Jesse Apprentice. Champions of Kamigawa, the infamous upside down craziness called. Boom! Temporal Mastery for Mythic number four. And look what we got here the Lauren Flamekin Hardbinger for the Foil Uncommon. So, again, looks like, again, solid. Is anybody really buying this product? Opening it and getting like a dumpster fire box because I don't I haven't heard anybody be like yo Rudy I bought a box of mystery and it was all terrible like nobody's saying that like everybody just says the pools are just constantly good Look at this old school. You know what that is? It's cold snap strong the Hagon Hagen Old school zombie knight and look at this. We got a commander here night howler. I think it was originally journey in the Knicks. Oh, oh foil mythic send triplets Ah. Oh. You can only imagine. Could you guys imagine these triplets? Wow. Alara. Send triplets. Foil mythic. Holy crap. What a pull. That is a flipping amazing pull. Okay. It says some of these pulls are just breathtaking. And I don't Like I said, it just, I don't know if we're getting lucky or this is just normal law of large numbers. Sadistic hypnotist. There's an old school Odyssey uncommon you don't see. Mind Shatter from Commander, or Modern Masters 2017. And the Stone from back in like Dissension or Guild Pact or some uncommon. That's been a long time. I can I don't even remember what that was particularly from. Goodness gracious. All right, everybody. Heading over to, what do we got now? We are into the Meander. Yeah, the Mirror. Ah, oh, Symbol of the Legion Gate Crash. Terrible. Boom! Chromatic Lantern. That's nice. Uh, I would say that's not RTR. That is the uh, newer Guild of Ravnica. <laughs> In the mirror for the foil mythic. Unbelievable pulls, everybody. It's just so weird to open a box and be like, oh, I'm getting 10 mythics. It's like ever since these collector boxes from Theros, I just feel like mythics don't feel mythical anymore because of how, how many you get. It just really distorts it. Look at this. Not M10. 10th edition. Black bordered Hurricane. Look at that. And look at Urza's Rage from Commander. Very cool. Oh, look at that. Old school sliver. Now, oh, there's something you don't see every day. Wow, that's pretty sweet for a nice foil uncommon. But yeah, that's that's the thing. You know, it's very... It's weird to kind of... This is such an unpredictable product. Because we don't know how many more is going to be printed. We don't know, like, how the value is going to level. You know? And we got a little uh, Null Spine Dragon for a nice little eh, rare. And Hour of Devastation for the Kitty Cat. And the Uncommon Rudy the Shapeshifter. That is definitely Creepy Rudy right there. If I've ever seen it, if I've ever seen, can I take a pic, can I get that in the picture? That is an Uncommon Creepy Rudy, everybody. By far. Well, I, I always forget these packs don't even have, these boxes don't even have 36 packs. It's flipping weird, man. It's like, really, Wizards? You could have done 36 packs, honestly. Look at that. Look at this old school plane shift. The Peldegriff. Look at that. And an all is dust from the Modern Masters. And we got ourselves new Phyrexia common. Blighted agent, everybody. Ah, last few packs. This is it. I'd say I hope we get something good, but we've already hit like what? Ten mythics? Like three foil mythics. Like the pools are just so. Doesn't even seem normal. Like it just seems like. Like, they purposely just overloaded it. Energy field from Urza Saga. 
Oh, that gives me, that's a throwback. And Alicia, who smiles at death for a cheap, forgettable rare. And Burning Inquiry for the 10th edition foil. Nice little old school. Oh, I'm sorry, not 10th. I apologize. M10. That was uh, not 10th. That was the M10 printing, everybody. All right. Nothing too crazy. I always got to scan these uncommon, or those uh, cards in the front on this particular type of box. We never know. Look at this enchanted evening. Holy smokes. And Rebecca, in your amazing talent, she, she strikes again. Deadly Tempest from Commander. And the trap. Excellent, excellent, uncommon foil from the Zendikar era, everybody. Well, we're down to the last couple packs. Again, Damien and uh, level seven, level 70 million games over there in Colorado. I just want to really appreciate you guys just allowing me to crack a box here and enjoy it with everybody. We got a nice Dragon Lord from World Wake, I believe. Another Mythic. And the Revelation from Fate Reforge. Forgettable and cheap $1 rare. And the, uh, really the Annex again? I thought we had this in the other box. Foil rare again. It's like, God, at least certain, certain cards, I swear we just get a million, we get over and over the same cards. It's kind of, it's just weird. It's like, where are all the other ones we're not getting? Wow, there you go. Slave of Bolas. There's a card I haven't seen. Excellent, excellent. Oh, cool uncommon. And a Prism from M25. Look at this. Planner Chaos. We got the Lore Uncommon. And what do we got? Ooh, the Crusader here from Modern Masters 2015. Long time no see. And looks like uh, Dark Steel Echoing Decay, I think. I can't recall. It's been many years since I've seen that particular card. So very, very neato burrito there. Oh, what are you? Fungal Infection. Ah, I may have to go to the doctor for that. All right, everybody. We only got a couple packs left. Let's get something spicy. Familiar. Old School Weatherlight with the Volunteer. Terrible, terrible card. Two drop for a 2-4 with flipping banding and a cumulative upkeep. No wonder those guys look so flipping miserable. What a piece of crap. All right, mastery for the commander rare and an M10 stunning foil white knight. That's probably worth more than the flipping rare. Just because it's an old school foil white. Let's see, I don't know if that's going to be priced the same as an original old school foil like white knight. I don't know if that holds the same value. And then when people sell those in the future to try to get different pricing, are people even going to realize what they're buying? I don't know. All right, is this the last pack? Oh, we got one left. Crystal Chimes from Commander. Look at the Doom Gape. Oh, man, that's been a while. That takes me back. And the Boros Reckoner, everybody. Originally missed. Oh, whoa. The Tyrant of Jun. Look at you. Allura Mythic again. Okay, that's a little strange. Okay, is anyone going to comment on that? I'm going to comment on that. Let me just, oh, look, swords. We got nice swords hiding there in the front. That's why we got to check these real quick. I want to I open this last pack. I want to show you guys something I find really suspicious here. We got a locket. Here we go. Another Allura, Nemesis of Reason. Stunning horror artwork there. And terrible golem from Muller. And oh, stalking stones. Let me, let me just comment something real quick. Does anybody else find it weird that, like, the foil mythics, we get, like, three foil mythics. All from like a Lara block, even though there's shards of a Lara and a Lara reborn. Does anybody else find that weird? Like out of everything, the probability of some of that being like clumped together. I find that strange that some of the mythics and the foil rares and mythics we've been getting in the in the last couple of mystery box openings have all been clumped like that. It doesn't feel like a variety. It feels like when you hit a couple of Lara cards, you're gonna get all a Lara card. It doesn't feel truly randomly sorted due to the sample size of 16 to 1800 cards it just doesn't i don't know whatever anyways that is it for mystery no more mystery box openings coming thank you all for watching be safe out there and uh that was a heck of a ride and uh who knows how this is gonna age